Isaiah chapter 30 Oracle on the Futility of an Alliance with Egypt Ah! Rebellious Children Oracle of the Lord Who carry out a plan that is not mine Who make an alliance I did not inspire Thus adding sin upon sin They go down to Egypt Without asking my counsel to seek strength in Pharaoh's protection and take refuge in Egypt's shadow. Pharaoh's protection shall become your shame. Refuge in Egypt's shadow your disgrace. When his princes are at Zoan and his messengers reach Hanes, all shall be ashamed of a people that gain them nothing, neither help nor benefit but only shame and reproach. Oracle on the beasts of the Nezheb Through the distressed and troubled land Of the lioness and roaring lion Of the viper and flying seraph They carry their riches on the backs of donkeys And their treasures on the humps of camels To a people good for nothing To Egypt whose help is futile and vain Therefore I call her. Rahab sit still. Now come, write it on a tablet they can keep. Inscribe it on a scroll. That in time to come it may be. An eternal witness. For this is a rebellious people. Deceitful children. Children who refuse. To listen to the instruction of the Lord who say to the seers, do not see. To the prophets, do not prophesy truth for us. Speak smooth things to us, see visions that deceive. Turn aside from the way. Get out of the path. Let us hear no more of the Holy One of Israel. Therefore, thus says the Holy One of Israel, because you reject this word, and put your trust in oppression and deceit. And depend on them. This iniquity of yours shall be. Like a descending rift. Bulging out in a high wall. Whose crash comes suddenly, in an instant. Crashing like a potter's jar. Smashed beyond rescue. And among its fragments cannot be found. Assured to scoop fire from the hearth, or dip water from the cistern. For thus said the Lord God, the Holy One of Israel, By waiting and by calm you shall be saved. In quiet and in trust shall be your strength. But this you did not will. No, you said. Upon horses we will flee. Very well you shall flee. Upon swift steeds we will ride. Very well, swift shall be your pursuers. A thousand shall tremble at the threat of one. If five threaten, you shall flee. You will then be left like a flagstaff on a mountain top. Like a flag on a hill. Zion's future deliverance. Truly, the Lord is waiting to be gracious to you. Truly, he shall rise to show you mercy. For the Lord is a God of justice. Happy are all who wait for him. Yes, people of Zion, dwelling in Jerusalem. You shall no longer weep. He will be most gracious to you when you cry out. As soon as he hears he will answer you. The Lord will give you bread in adversity and water in affliction. No longer will your teacher hide himself, but with your own eyes you shall see your teacher, and your ears shall hear a word behind you. This is the way, walk in it. When you would turn to the right or the left, you shall defile your silver plated idols and your gold covered images. You shall throw them away like filthy rags. You shall say, Get out. 
he will give rain for the seed. You sow in the ground. And the bread that the soil produces. Will be rich and abundant. On that day your cattle will graze. In broad meadows. The oxen and the donkeys that till the ground. Will eat silage tossed to them. With shovel and pitchfork. Upon every high mountain and lofty hill. There will be streams of running water. On the day of the great slaughter. When the towers fall. The light of the moon will be like the light of the sun. And the light of the sun will be seven times greater. Like the light of seven days. On the day the Lord binds up the wounds of his people. And heals the bruises left by his blows. Divine Judgment on Assyria See, the name of the Lord is coming from afar. Burning with anger, heavy with threat. His lips filled with fury. Tongue like a consuming fire. Breath like an overflowing torrent. That reaches up to the neck. He will winnow the nations with a destructive winnowing. And bridle the jaws of the peoples to send them astray. For you, there will be singing. As on a night when a feast is observed. And joy of heart. As when one marches along with a flute. Going to the mountain of the Lord. To the rock of Israel. The Lord will make his glorious voice heard. And reveal his arm coming down. In raging fury and flame of consuming fire. In tempest and rainstorm and hail. For at the voice of the Lord, Assyria will be shattered. As he strikes with the rod. And every sweep of the rod of his punishment. Which the Lord will bring down on him. Will be accompanied by timbrels and lyres. While he wages war against him. For his tophet has long been ready. Truly it is prepared for the king. His fire pit made both deep and wide. With fire and firewood in abundance. And the breath of the Lord, like a stream of sulfur. Setting it afire.